Hi, Jason here. Now, in this video, I'm going to give you a warning. And that warning is not to rely on ChatGPT as of this moment anyway to provide you with lists of keywords to go and use for SEO purposes to try and rank your website, your sales funnels and all of that stuff. And I see loads of plugins and loads of videos showing how it can produce tons of keywords and all of this. Uh, fantastic for optimizing your site. No, it's not. Now, here's why. The thing is, is ChatGPT is using a fixed uh, source of data that ended in September of 2021. And I think that the uh, GPT-4 is up to September 22. That's what I've read online. Now, for a start, that means any keywords that, you know, were out there after that, you, they're not going to pick it up. But the biggest thing is it's working from this kind of static knowledge base. It's scoured the web and that's it. It's made sense of all of that content, but it doesn't get current information. It doesn't scrape the Google search results every day to go and find out what's ranking well and why and what keywords is it, is it coming up for a particular website or any of that usual data that you really do need um, if you want to know if you can rank for a keyword. And also the number of backlinks. It's not going to tell you how many backlinks there are uh, for a particular keyword that you might want to rank for, for the top ranking site. So let me just give you a quick example. And um, let's talk about some of the other sites that you can use here. Now, one of the other most popular is SEM Rush, And there's no uh, affiliation with these guys that I have. There's going to be no affiliate links to SEM Rush here. But what they do, and this is the difference between them and let's say, uh, you know, ChatGPT there, is their data collection. Look at this. For search engine rankings and keyword analytics, we use third-party data providers to collect Google's actual search result pages for 500 million of the most popular keywords. That's a lot. And then it says, uh, we collect information about the websites that are listed in the top 100 positions. And then they study both organic search results as well as paid search results to give you a complete picture of any website's visibility on Google. And this is something that ChatGPT does not do. It scraped the web. It's got all the information, made sense of it, and now it's able to figure things out from that information, but it's not doing this job. Let's take another one, which is uh, Ahrefs, another really well-known SEO tool. This one here as well, it likes, if we're asking where does it get its data from, uh, we have our own search crawlers that work 24-7. So they're constantly scouring the web, checking websites that are ranking. What keywords are they ranking for? How powerful is that website? And that will give you the information that you need to know as to whether or not you can truly rank for a keyword. Now, if we go to ChatGPT and we say something like this, I sell men's watches and I have an e-commerce store that I'd like to rank in Google. Full stop. Provide me with a list of 40 long tail keywords that I might be able to rank my site for. OK, now we'll just let it crack on and do that. And it'd be pretty quick because we're using GPT 3.5. And here is a very good looking list of keywords that most people will be like, right. Oh, great. I sell, uh, you know, men's designer watches. I'm going to go and grab that keyword and make an article from it and put it on my WordPress blog or my, or my Shopify store. But in actual fact, many of these will not be very good at all. So, so let's just take that first one there, luxury men's watches for sale. Now we'll go over to SEODity, which I really, really like. And we'll just paste this in now. And this is what we're interested in right here is the keyword difficulty. And this keyword that it's just recommended to me as being a long tail keyword that I might be able to rank for is um, pretty much near impossible, especially for a new website, at least, because it's got such a high difficulty level uh, to rank for. And what, what you'll probably find is websites that are ranking for that keyword have got a really strong uh, load of backlinks. They've got high domain rank, basically. So it's not been great there. Now let's just go to the second one here, which is uh, best men's watches under $500. 
let's just paste that one in just there there you go again a difficult keyword what we're really looking for is an easier keyword to try and target especially for long tail and you know it's it's there as a 50 again so pretty tricky now some of these other keywords if we just take affordable men's watches online let's try that one out and we'll have a little look and that one's not even given us any results because no one ever types it in so I think that is it, you know, a uh, case in point here is that you cannot rely on on chat GPT to come up with all of these brilliant keywords. At least if you're going to have it do this, then you need to go and check them all to make sure that they truly are one that you've got a fighting chance of ranking for. And while we're on the subject of SEO, like I said, it doesn't just come down to the keyword either. It comes down to how many backlinks your uh, website has from other sites, which then give you more domain authority and then push you up the search results, basically. So just a quick warning, really, for this video. Uh, it's really good at some things, though, for SEO, and that's coming up with like top level topics so that you can kind of find new areas that you can start generating content for. And then uh, it can do all kinds of other stuff with actually the content on the page. It can help you structure really well. It can do featured snippets. It can do all sorts of other things. But for actual keyword research that you can rely on as being a good one for you to target, don't do it. That's my recommendation. Now, if you like a chat GPT and you do want to learn more about all of this kind of stuff, you might want to check out my free community, which is on fire at the moment. We've got 2.6 thousand members and hundreds joining every single day. And we're all just obsessed with AI and chat GPT which is great. Um, so we've got people who've been trying out Bard in here. We've got uh, lots of different comments about uh, new uh, open AI tech that's coming out, plugins, writing with Bing, you name it, it's all in here. You can come and join for free. There's a link underneath this video and uh, I hope you found this useful. I just don't want you to go out there and just expect ChatGPT to be able to do absolutely everything when it comes to SEO. It's an extremely useful tool, but it's certainly not the best way to produce a list of keywords that you then blindly follow and produce content for and expect to rank with. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in another video.